In Sub-Saharan Africa, a child dies every minute of malaria. In Tanzania, malaria accounts for over 40% of doctor's visits and over 60,000 deaths per year. A general diagnosis of malaria can be made by a trained individual using just a basic microscope, but such resources have limited availability in this part of the world. The World Health Organization has called for a highly sensitive, low-cost diagnostic that can differentiate malaria subspecies. This would enable the selection of effective treatment, the monitoring of outbreaks, and the detection of emerging drug resistance. I'm Shana Kelly, and I run a research group at the University of Toronto that develops new diagnostic technologies. We recently developed a new sensor platform that can deliver results in 20 minutes or less for just dollars a test. In our labs at U of T, we developed a chip that can tell us exactly what kind of pathogens are present in a sample. Three-dimensional sensors patterned on a chip use nanostructured materials to dramatically improve sensitivity. These sensors are functionalized with specific DNA sequences that will bind a target molecule in a clinical sample. The goal of our project is to take this diagnostic technology and adapt it for use in resource-limited clinics in Tanzania. In collaboration with Dr. Zul Premji, we will develop a low-cost testing wand that will process a drop of blood and provide an easily interpretable test result in 20 minutes. This wand will contain our biosensors patterned onto a low-cost plastic substrate and all of the required reagents. All that the user will be required to do is introduce the blood and press go. This wand will provide an indication of the strain of malaria and allow a specific and effective treatment to be pursued. And most importantly, it will enable the diagnosis of malaria in any environment without the need for a laboratory or a trained user at a very low cost.